What's up, you guys? It's LaKayla Frazier, and I'm your host on Unapologetically Me podcast. Now, last week, we spoke on relationships. So if y'all want me to go further into that topic, I can. I can make a part two on that. Just let me know. And I know y'all was looking forward to a video podcast. However, I'm still getting my podcast area set up. So once that's finished, by next week, I will have a video recorded for y'all next week's episode. So this um, episode is self-care versus self-maintenance. And this was a big discussion because everybody have an opinion. And this is my personal opinion. I feel like they're two different things. Self-care and self-maintenance is two different things. Now, like I said, this is my opinion. Some women feel that getting your hair, your nails, your feet done, and all of that is self-care. No, but th- I mean, like I said, like if that's what you look, if you see self-care as that, that's your opinion. But me, that's maintenance. That is maintenance. That's keeping up with your aesthetics or like your looks and all of that like that. That is maintenance, baby. Self-care is like taking time to meditate to yourself journaling and understand learning who you are and you know pouring into yourself nurturing yourself like today getting up taking up taking a bubble bath and just really soaking your body maybe you want to put some essential oils put that epsom salt up in there maybe some herbs up in there and really just soak turn the light off light some candles listen to some meditation music or whatever type of music that can relax your mind body and soul that is my that that's what i see as self-care self-care is also you know healing from you know traumatic experiences healing from ex-partners ex-friendships you know just really taking care of self like and and really we don't do enough of that and that's the problem now you glow differently when you are happy when you are well taken care of when your mind is at peace that's that's my version of self-care because I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes when I go to the nail shop and get the whole nine eyebrows, nails, you know, lashes, feet, wax, all of that. When I do all of that, like it feels good to look good, but I still feel some type of way that I spent almost three hundred dollars at the nail shop, and I did not receive good customer service. You know, it was loud in there. You got babies and kids running around the nail shop. You know. They rush in because it's a long line of people that need to be taken care of. That's not a good experience. You know, so I wouldn't even say, like, that was me being taken care of. Like, I just went there to get cute. And like I said, if you feel like those things is so, you know, a form of self-care, that you are very, you know, you're right. That's your you know, version of self-care, but no. And we was going, like, we there, I had made a video about it on TikTok, and, you know, some girls was like, well, self-care is whatever you make it, or some girls was like, that is self-care, ooh, ooh. and that's fine. I'm not finna argue with you, baby, because some of y'all intention is to come on here and argue and go back and forth. I'm not finna do that. I'm just telling you my opinion on self-care. And we don't take enough time to love on ourselves and, And also, self-care is staying away from them toxic people that messes with you mentally, physically, and spiritually. Self-care is boundaries. Self-care is knowing what to tolerate and what not to tolerate. Because some of us, we put ourselves in these rooms around these people that we don't really like, that don't really align with us. Most of the time, they wishing bad on us, and they don't genuinely like us, and we just absorbing that energy, and that negative energy is like going against us. It's like, why are we here? You know, that's also a form of self care. Why would you put yourself in a room full of people that don't like you? What to prove a point? No, self care is respecting yourself, loving yourself. You know, setting those boundaries. You know, nurturing yourself, you know, spending time with self. And a lot of people don't understand the whole 
less is more. You know, at least this is what I tell myself, less is more. Because the less that I'm outside with people and around all these different energies, you know, the more I'm spending time with self and loving self. And and really when I'm by myself, I, I gain so much clarity. My mind is so clear. I'm able to think straight. I'm able to hear myself think. You know, so less is more. You don't always have to be around everybody. Take time Take time to, self, for, to yourself and like really get to know you. Get to learn you. Because if somebody asks you like, and I'm be real. Like when people ask me like, well, what do you like to do on your free time? Shit, I don't even know. I'm going to be real with you. I really don't know. Why? Because I don't really sit to myself and think about what I like to do, what I enjoy doing, you know. Or like, what are your hobbies? Huh? Hobbies? I didn't even think of that. You know, like, I I don't take time to really get to know myself. And getting to know yourself is self-love. That same energy you put into that man or that woman, that same energy you put into that relationship that you got to constantly give chances to, that same energy that you give to your fake family members, that same energy you give to your friends that don't have your best interest at heart, they just need company because misery needs company. Some They need somebody to tell their problems to 24-7 and all this other stuff. Like, we're not even going to get into friendships right now. But yes, that same energy you use on other people, places, and things, you need to use that same exact energy on yourself. Going hard for yourself. Like that is really self-care. Like keeping your cup full at all times is self-care. Why would you want to sacrifice yourself or go without for the next person's happiness? No. That's people pleasing. So me personally the hair, the nails, that that all of that is maintenance, baby. That is not self-care. Self-care is once you get out that tub, you oiling your body down. You 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 know, you do your face mask, your skin care routine, you know, walk around the house with house shoes and not barefoot because you want to protect your feet. <laughs> like I'm so serious. This might be little stuff to y'all, but this is literally self care. You know, because you moisturizing your skin. Your skin is healthy. You know this little stuff, right? You know that you do for self. Take the weave out for a little bit, and and moisturize your scalp. Moist, um, massage your scalp. Wash your hair. You know, take care of your curl pattern. I'm so serious. Y'all might be like, girl, now you just saying anything. But no, these are literally little minor things that take that that is showing that showing that self-care. Cause the small things matter as well. Go go buy yourself some flowers. Even if the, the bouquet was only $4.59. Go buy them flowers. You don't got you like come on out. Me, I have like my last look. Hundred dollars in my pocket. I'm finna go to Target, and I'm finna go therapy shopping because I know it makes me feel good. Just being in the store, seeing what they have new in stock, you know, that stuff. Like I'm finna go buy me a new journal because I know that I like journaling. You know, those are the things. They're minor, but they're self care because now I know that. I like to collect journals. I like to because I like to journal. I like those glasses. I like to collect gl- eyewear. You know, this is me pouring into me doing things that I like, doing things that I enjoy. Like self-care is really what you make it. I'm going to let y'all have that. However, maintenance and self-care is two different things. Two different things like I shouldn't have to spend almost $300 just to show myself that I care about myself. However, there, 
that whole saying where it's treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. I strongly stand behind that as well. Because sometimes I be having to tell myself, like, girl, just buy that bag. Because you know you want the bag. It's real cute. You got the money to do it. Stop overthinking it. You know, like, do things that make you happy. Pour into yourself every day. Love on you more and more every single day. And the more you pour into yourself, the more you become happy. The more that you're, the more you're able to set those boundaries. You know, when you love yourself, you glow completely different. You know, so that's my whole take on self-love just love yourself self-care that that stuff is very very important because we don't we don't spend enough time learning ourselves understanding who we are you know and nurturing ourselves watering our plants okay we is the plant keep yourself water okay stop pouring into the next person before you pour into yourself and leaving yourself left empty and unfulfilled. That is my take on self-love and self-care versus maintenance. Now, y'all can leave comments down below. Or, you know, you can come on to the podcast as well if you want to speak further. I'm cool with it. Like I told y'all my episode, on episode one, I'm inviting anybody on the episode, I mean, onto the podcast to come and speak. You know, I love another person's perspective. I love hearing how someone else, how someone else's way of thinking is. So you're more than welcome. So just, you would have to email my business podcast email and I will link that down below in the description. If you don't subscribe to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you like the channel, go ahead and like the channel and leave a comment down below. Turn that bell button on if you want to receive my post notifications. But going forward, every Saturday, I will be posting at 7 p.m. So I will see y'all on our next episode. I'm out.